Hello, my name is Ko Nagata. I am a postdoc fellow at the ICEMS. This ICEMS postdoc presents two ICEMS scientists each time, one as the interviewee, the other as the interviewer. Today's researcher is Dr. Shinya Yamanaka, the professor of the ICEMS and also the director of Center for IPS Cell Research and Application. Nice to meet you, Dr. Yamanaka. Nice to meet you. You had started your career as a medical doctor uh, and orthopedist, so you know a lot about human body. And, and then you turned your way to the clinic, uh, to the basic research. And I am now working on the proteins called ABC proteins, mm -hmm. and I, I usually use cultured cells in experiments, so I can uh, I can analyze what is happening inside a cell in the cell level, but I can't imagine what is happening in the tissues or whole body levels. And ABC proteins are associated with various diseases such as cystic fibrosis mm -hmm. or atherosclerosis. Mm -hmm. So I think I should have more. Uh, I, should, uh, I should have the point of view to understand whole body. So, uh, just think, how the experience as a medical doctor influence your view or uh, motivation for research? Well, my uh, career as an orthopedic uh, surgeon has a great impact on my uh, career as a scientist. First of all, I always think about patients. Mm -hmm. So I want to be uh, helpful mm -hmm. for, for patients. Mm -hmm. So uh, my goal, research goal, tend to be very practical. Mm -hmm. I want to be of a great help for, for patients. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, one impact of my uh, old career. Uh, the other thing is that uh, because I used to be a surgeon, I tend to think uh, uh, things very simply. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, many, many, uh, I think, scientists tend to think things very uh, in a complicated manner. But mm -hmm. I, I think I tend to see uh, various things from a very, very uh, simple point of view. And in this particular uh, case, uh, I mean in the generation of IPS cells, that simplicity, simple or simple way simple. of thinking mm -hmm. worked very well. I see. And from 1993 to 1996, uh, you were working at the Gladstone Institute mm -hmm. in the United States. Mm -hmm. And after you came back to Japan, uh, I've heard that you had been really severely depressed, as we call it, post-America depression. Mm -hmm. uh, you couldn't wake up in the morning, and you even thought of quitting the res uh, research and going back to the clin clin clinical uh, practice. So how did you recover from that tough situation? Uh, well, I, I, uh, I had a hard time. I had I was suffering from PDA, but uh, I was uh, lucky enough mm -hmm. to be recruited as a, a principal investigator mm -hmm. uh, at the Nara, at, at Nara Institute of Science and Technology in 1999. Mm -hmm. So oh, that was a great uh, uh, change to me. Uh, before that point, I was working by myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any uh, students or any postdocs. Mm -hmm. So no discussions? No, no discussions. I, I think uh, discussion is one of the most in, uh, interesting mm -hmm. things. Yes, in yes. Yeah. But uh, to build hypothesis is very uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, but it sometimes will be too dreamful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have to do your research by yourself, uh, you can be uh, selfish or mm -hmm. you can be, you have to evaluate by yourself. But if you have some other, uh, even students mm -hmm. or some other scientists uh, whom you can discuss with, mm -hmm. well, you can uh, evaluate with each other. And uh, I think that is, uh, that is very important. Mm -hmm. Speaking of PAD, have you ever studied uh, abroad, or uh, do you have a plan to spend some time 
after your postdoc here? Uh -huh. Uh, I've never been abroad, abroad to study, uh -huh. but yes, I, I sometimes would like to go abroad. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, but I'm afraid yeah, if we can, uh, if I can come back to Japan with mm -hmm. some position, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm hesitating now. I see. But you, you were happy in the United States. Well, I was, I was very happy, mm -hmm. but you know, when I was a, a student or when I was a postdoc, mm -hmm. uh, there are many, many things which we can only do in the States or mm -hmm. in, in UK, mm -hmm. not in Japan. Mm -hmm. But now that science in Japan, uh, the standard of Japanese science has become much, much higher, uh, almost comparable to mm -hmm. those in the States or in UK. Uh, from that uh, point of view, mm -hmm. uh, from that reason, you don't have to go abroad. Mm -hmm. You can stay in Japan. But uh, nevertheless, I uh, strongly recommend many young scientists mm -hmm. to spend at least a year or two mm -hmm. in foreign countries. You can only learn those cultural differences if you spend a few years uh, in abroad. Mm -hmm. So I very recommend. Yes. Uh, and you, mm -hmm. also you also said that uh, you learned how to present uh, the method of presentation mm -hmm. in the United States. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's it's very important mm -hmm. for for scientists uh, to be successful. Doing good experiments mm -hmm. means probably uh, fifty percent. <laughs> the remaining fifty percent mm -hmm. uh, is how you present mm -hmm. your uh, data, your uh, experience. So you really have to learn how you present your own data. Mm -hmm. That makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes a huge difference in publishing your data and also in finding your new position. Okay. So that, that is very important. In, in research, things not always go as planned. Mm -hmm. So we may experience uh, hard days without mm. any data mm -hmm. for a long time, mm -hmm. may maybe for years. Mm. So uh, I think it's very difficult to decide uh, whether to continue on, uh, working on projects or when to quit, when to give it up. Mm. So, and that, uh, while you were, uh, while you were uh, gener trying to generate IP cells, mm. did you ever sort of, uh, did you ever think of giving up? Giving it up before you identify 24 candidate genes. Uh, well, well, m making iPS cells mm -hmm. has been my uh, long-term goal. Mm -hmm. So I, I never thought of quitting that long-term mm -hmm. goal. Mm -hmm. But to achieve that long-term goal, mm -hmm. there are many, many short-term goals. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a, a very difficult things to achieve. So you cannot do in a day. Uh, you have to do multiple steps. It's like a, a long, long way. Okay. You have to have a, a clear view. Clear yes, yes. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, that is one of my favorite uh, sentence, or mm -hmm. uh, how to say, uh, well, from my old boss, mm -hmm. it's uh, VW. V, v stands for vision, vision. and uh, W stand, stands for uh, hard work. Hard work, so yeah, 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 yeah. So you have, uh, in order to succeed, you have to keep VW in mind. Mm -hmm. You have to have clear vision and you have to work very hard. Clear vision yeah, and yeah, work, work yeah, hard. Yeah. So we Japanese mm -hmm. tend to work very hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, at the same time, we tend to forget uh, clear vision. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you end up doing many, many experiments without having uh, clear purpose, purposes. Mm -hmm. So uh, how did you uh, get your clear vision? Uh, when, when and how? Well, well, first of all, you have to uh, realize that you have to have clear vision. Mm -hmm. So you always ask your ask yourself, mm -hmm. uh, what is my vision? Mm -hmm. What, I what is like my long-term vision? Mm -hmm. So you keep asking that, that question. Mm -hmm. And the answer should be always the same. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. if you have the clear vision, you know, the answer is all, always the same. But uh, I ask, I tend to ask my students what is their long-term goal mm-hmm. or long-term vision, and they tend to answer uh, something different every day. <laughs> so that means they don't have a, a clear mm-hmm. vision. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, the first step is to ask yourself, what's your vision? Mm-hmm. And if you can ask, uh, if you can answer the same uh, uh, vision every day, mm-hmm. I think you are okay. Mm-hmm. And when do you feel happy in your research activities? Ah. So when I was a postdoc, when I was doing science by myself, I uh, got very happy mm-hmm. when I found something new mm-hmm. or uh, some, something unexpected. Mm-hmm. But now that I have many uh, young students and young fellows, I feel more and more uh, happy when those students or fellows find something very uh, uh, unexpected Mm -hmm. from their own ideas. Mm -hmm. So uh, to me, uh, watching those young scientists who are uh, very immature when uh, uh, they came to my laboratory, uh, growing up and to become a good scientist, Mm -hmm and to produce uh, uh, exciting data from their own uh, idea. Mm -hmm. That is the most, uh, that is the greatest moment Mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now that will be all for the first Icing's Crosstalk. Thank you very much.